Okay, I'm going to do a uh, video for the service manager at Gullo Ford. Uh, this is problems that uh, uh, I've had um, with you guys before, um, or this particular problem, and I'll explain. So, um, a few weeks ago, I took my car in. I needed a, a couple of new tires and an alignment. I took the car in two years ago for the exact same thing. A couple of new tires. And alignment this happened twice now put my put my tires on in fact the reason I'm doing this video is because I'm a little peeved about it because it was a day before I went on vacation um, put my tires on for the second time again uh, with my uh, dually tires not aligned so as you can see I can't check my tear my my air gauge my tire pressure uh, anywhere on the second tire. I can only check the outside one, of course. So you put them on, uh, whoever did this, put them on wrong. Maybe it was the same guy that did it last time, two years ago. Anyway, second time it's happened, both tires are the same. Can't check my tire, uh, my tire, uh, my Schrader valve is not uh, aligned as it should be on a dually. Um, and uh, in my opinion, a uh, Ford place that sells Fords and duallys uh should know this the first time a couple of years ago i gave it a pass but uh obviously uh either i'm the unluckiest man in the world uh, or you guys got a problem over there so that's problem number one again second time it's happened you can check back in the service logs that i did go back a few years ago when i got new tires to get my tires swapped and put right uh, of course, I can do it myself, but it was a principle of the thing that uh, you guys should, if you uh, want premium price for your labor, uh, you should provide a premium service, in, again, in my opinion. Uh, anyway, so the other, the other problems. Uh, so when I took my car in to do that, I brought my car back. I aligned. Alignment was great, other than the tires being, the rear tires being wrong. Uh, the tires were good, everything. I parked my car here. As soon as I walked out of my car, I saw that there was a stain on the bottom. My radiator was leaking. So, again, I only mention this uh, because I had just brought it back from Ford. It was just in the shop, and I saw a line item on there that said, you know, 40-point inspection or something like that. Uh, again, apparently an inspection doesn't... Uh, have visually looking at your radiator, see if your radiator's low. Um, my radiator fluid is low or it has a radiator leak. Now, granted that it's completely plausible that it happened within the 10 miles that I came home from Ford to my house, 10 miles could have happened. My radiator could have started leaking. You know, it, it's plausible. Uh, uh, what makes me think that is a sham is all the other things that I've had problems with and I'll point out some more uh, that this 40 point inspection the, the 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 things that you do provide that are you pay premium for are crappy the quality control is crappy so I would think that the the, the 41 inspection uh, point inspection that's free is even more of a, <laughs> a crappy job done and that's why I think my braider was probably leaking over there and no one caught it Anyway, so uh, I went back, radiator, of course, this was a day before we had to put off for vacation for a day. Um, I got my radiator changed out, and I took pictures of everything. I took him right in front of Cliff, your service guy, which is great, by the way. He's a great guy, doing his job well. Um, and then when I opened the hood to inspect, uh, again, just to make sure everyone's uh, done their due diligence over there, I saw all my... Uh, these covers were missing uh, the right here in fact they had to dig this one out of the trash uh, these um, pins were missing right in here these push uh, uh, push clips were missing in fact I think uh, both these were missing so this one over here I think they dug this one out of the trash and it was cut in half for some reason uh, I did see online where you have to be careful getting it out, so I'm sure the guy just had no intention of putting it back, tore it out of there, because neither did he put this one back. Uh, 
uh, nor this one back. This one was out of stock, so I don't know where this one came from. I know uh, Cliff had to go to the parts guy and actually get this one and then get these grommets or these push pu push clips because they were gone as well. So that was problem number two uh, again. And then I go down here. So I go on vacation. I didn't have a chance to visually inspect everything. Of course, I didn't inspect that I had, you know, radiator fluid. Uh, I didn't, I couldn't... Uh, uh, say if they would actually flush my system, but I asked for a flush. So hopefully that was done Well, I get home and I uh, start visually in inspecting everything. I get under here to my Radiator shroud to look at my radiator shroud to see if it's and hopefully you can see this But you can clearly see obviously now you can see it very well that my radiator shroud is just hanging there There's no clips in there And I remember going back uh, I remember going back to uh, the shop when we needed the clips for the uh, rubber stuff that was missing that they didn't they didn't care to put back on that they didn't have these uh, or they had one of the technicians had to go ask another one do you have any of these so it seemed to be they were in uh, short supply there and uh, anyway maybe that's why you guys just don't care to put the radiator shrouds back on right that's just flapping in there. And not only that, if I come over to the other side, yep, you guessed it. Uh, not even a care to put in the other side as well. Let me see if I can get that in the camera. You see that there? Same thing. Let's see if I can get a better shot of that. Just flapping around in there no care to put it right so again I'm pretty teed off that uh, a $1,400 job uh, which is premium by the way as far as you guys and other shops around town uh, but you don't do a premium service and then um, uh, another problem was I was misquoted so Cliff misquoted me when I got up there. It was the wrong price. It was about $80 more. And he noticed it. I don't know if it was his error or whose error it was. But uh, uh, again, Cliff is a great guy. He actually uh, didn't even tell me about it and was actually going to pay out of his own pocket when he went took me to the service desk over there to pay. He was going to pay out of his own pocket, which I didn't let him do. I, I thought that was probably an honest mistake on his part. Uh, anyway, so that's the situation, and I hope you find this video helpful, uh, to, uh, increase the quality control, uh, of Gullo Ford.